Hello everybody, my name is Kelsey and we're about to get very, very nerdy. Oh, I should prepare before I start this. Good. Hello everybody, my name is Kelsey and we're about to get very, very nerdy with an unboxing. So today we are here to unbox the November Unplugged Adult Book Box. Now, you guys know that I have been a rep for them for quite a few months. November is my last month, so if you still want to use my code, you can until the end of November. Um, it is down below, but it is bookishly five. will get you a percentage off on one of their boxes. They have adult boxes as well as YA boxes, and then some special editions here and there. But let's get into this one. I'm very excited. This theme is Cozy Nights. And I want to know what that means. That sounds so nice. So let's dive in because I am beyond excited. I've heard great things about this box from the people who have already received it. And I could not be more excited. So let's dive on in to, ooh, right there on top. So like I mentioned last month, I got their YA box last month, but this looks like they're doing it every month and it is a little booklet with all the information on the items that are in this book box as well as some other fun things. We've got some journal prompts, there's an apple cider mull recipe, um, and just some other fun things, photo challenge, things like that. And then the December book box is going to, or the adult box is going to be Revenge and Rebirth. But let's dive in because there's something fluffy and cozy looking right on top. This is what I see. I think it's a blanket. I'm going to assume it's a blanket. I have no idea. How the heck do I get into this one? It must be, oh, this box smells good. It must be, yep, there we go. So this was vacuum sealed, which is actually quite clever. I've never seen a book box do that before. So oh, it is so soft. I don't know what it is, but it's soft. Okay, I'm gonna back up a little bit so you guys can see. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. Okay, what is the top? I have no idea. Hold on. Okay, let's see. Here we go. It is... Oh, it's so cute. So it's this. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but it looks like there's a dude here and and then there's there's a chick here. Um, it's quite large for like a book box. I'm gonna have to show like a picture of me holding it up or something because I can't really show you what it is, but it looks like a dude and a female <laughs> but it's so soft oh my goodness this one is a good size blanket like it's not a tiny one it's a light cover it's so soft oh my gosh okay once we're done i'll have to investigate more into this because i'm sure it's based on something but oh my goodness mm. okay so the next thing i see are these it's it i don't there's something in here so this is Reading by the Fire Pumpkin Cinnamon Books Mini Pumpkin Potpourri. Oh, that's so cute. Pour potpourri pumpkins into a decorative dish and leave out. That is so cute. That's definitely what I've been smelling. But yeah, it's just tiny little pumpkins that you can just put out in a dish. Oh, that's super cute. Those smell really good. It's definitely like a good cozy smell for like end of fall beginning of Christmas because like cinnamon is a very Christmas scent for me so to have the pumpkin and the cinnamon together oh and they're also like these super cute like tiny pumpkins like they're actually in the shape of pumpkins that's really cute oh I will be using that for sure okay I see what I think is a candle so I'm gonna grab that and it is this one which is autumn at Lally Brock so this has to be based on the Atlanta series right it's by lichen and limestone. It is glazed caramel cakes, spiced wine, and warm oak. Nice, good size candle too. And let's see if we open it. It's an oh, it's a wood wick candle. I love wood wick candles. Ooh. Oh, I love that. It's definitely like sweet, but not overly sweet. So people who are not huge sweet fans, I think, will still enjoy this. It's I don't know how to explain it but it's definitely a fall scent. 
Oh, I can't wait to burn this. It smells really good. I like the wood wick, which means it'll crackle as I burn it. And the cover, not the cover, but the label is stunning as well. Oh, this is just like the perfect box for a cozy night. And like you can just snuggle down and be nice and cozy. Okay, so the next thing I see is this little container here, which is Alexandra Society Lip Scrub. It's was like Books and Sentiment, and it is by Angela Taylor Crafts. Ooh, that's very nice. I do like a good lip scrub. It's like, ooh, it smells good. So it's like in pieces for me, so I don't know if that's like a, it just like solidified in travel, which is entirely possible. It smells very good, though. It's definitely, it says cinnamon, but I don't smell the cinnamon. Mmm, that smells good. I can't wait to use that. I'll definitely have to like add some water to it or something to like make it more of a, a, a liquid consistency. The next thing, oh, that's heavy. So the next thing I see is, I believe, oh, it's a bookmark. It's a magnetic bookmark. Oh, that is so cute. It is got books and leaves and coffee or like a mug with steam coming out of it and pumpkins and mushrooms all over it. That is so cute. And I love magnetic bookmarks. I don't use them as often as I should, but I do love them. They're very easy to use. And it's just like a cute little fall bookish thing. Oh, I love that. I love that. The next thing I see is this box, which is quite heavy. I have no idea what it could be, but it's, but it's quite heavy. So let's dive in, see what we've got. It is bubble wrap. Oop, oop, oop. Okay. Oh, I believe they are coasters. Is that right? There's two of them. So, oop. oh my goodness. That is so cute. So they are coasters. They look like this. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. So I'll definitely put a picture of them over, but it looks like it's got some like circus tents on it. And it says looking forward will be better than looking back. Now I wonder, do they both say the same thing? Let me see. No, the other one is different. <gasps> These are based on Aaron Morgenstern. That's so cool because the other one looks like this and it's got keys and a B on it, which definitely is based on, oh shoot, what is it called? The Starless Sea, which means that this one has to be based on the Night Circus. So this one says, strange, isn't it, to love a book. Those are stunning. Oh, I love that there's two and they're based on the two books by her. That's so cool. I have no idea what these are made of. It's some kind of stone, right? I don't know. These are stunning. I will say be careful when you open them because it looks like the stone is one that like sheds a little bit. <laughs> so it looks like I'm getting everywhere. Okay, I think that's it. Let's take a little dip. I believe that we only have the book left. Is that right? Yes. So per usual, we do have a signed book plate that you can put in a book and this cute little card right here that is so fall um, with a dear reader letter on the back and then the book. So it is a paperback this month. Let's get into it and see what the heck it is. Okay, so I think it's gonna come out this way. So let's see what do we have. Ooh, The Secret Next Door by Rebecca Taylor. This looks like a fun little mystery. A twisty tale of surprise and psychological suspense. It's the perfect neighborhood filled with not so perfect people. So this sounds like it's going to be a domestic thriller. It definitely has that cozy fall vibe on the front, like a good mystery thriller fall vibe. This, oh, this cover is stunning. This sounds like it's a pretty kind of like chill thriller, if you will, but it follows this neighborhood where like everybody is keeping secrets, but it looks like we're gonna follow two women specifically. Allison Tinsdale, who just moved into the neighborhood. She's giving her son the kind of like the home life, the stable life that she never had. And she finally got into one of Denver's most sought after developments. And then it follows Bonnie, who is the neighborhood matriarch. She has political aspirations. And then a golf course development is happening in like right next to it and the neighborhood is split on this but then someone shows up dead in said like field that they're planning on doing this in so it sounds like a neighborhood full of secrets and everyone's got something to hide i am obsessed with how fall this cover looks this looks so cool this was a great box this is the perfect like 
collection of things to make like just a cozy night in with like a nice hot drink, a nice candle to burn, a nice book to read, some potpourri if you'd like to do that instead with a nice cozy blanket and just like I don't know this is like the perfect if someone's a cozy night give them this box. It was beyond fantastic. I let me let's take a look at the kind of cheat list if you will just so that we can see what these things are based on so the blanket is based on phantom of the opera does he have a mask on it's hard to tell because it's a little wrinkled um i can't tell his face is to the side but it's supposed to be based on a phantom of the opera which is pretty pretty cool i do like that one um, and then we the candle was based on Outlander, like I suggested. And then of course we got the Aaron Morgenstern poster set. And then, oh, the Sugar Scrub is based on the Atlas Six. Um, and then everything else is just like generic bookish stuff. This was a fantastic box. What was my favorite item? I'm a little torn. I really like the coasters. I think that's very clever to do one based on each of the books by Aaron Morgenstern. I'm obsessed with this candle. It smells so good. So I have three favorites, the candle, the coasters, and the potpourri, just because somehow they got the potpourri to look like little pumpkins. Like how freaking cute is that? This was, oh, I was very excited when they announced this theme and I was not disappointed in the slightest. This was probably my favorite unplugged book box to date. It was, oh, it was so well done. Um, I just like how everything went together and made the perfect like ambiance or atmosphere for reading. Oh, I can't wait to use all these things. So yeah, that is the November Unplugged Adult Book Box. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Let me know what some of your favorite items are, if you liked these or get these yourselves, or if you read The Secret Next Door. I would love to know your thoughts on this book. It's not one that I've ever heard about, but I'm also not into like the adult thrillers very well. I like I don't know a whole lot about them. So I'm not surprised I didn't know, <laughs> know what this was. But I'd love to know your thoughts if you have read it. And as always a thank you to Unplugged for sending me this box. I have loved being their rep for the last few months. So like I said make sure you get your hands on your own because my code will be going away. So don't don't be left out. But if you like this video, and I very much hope that you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you want to be part of this awesome growing family. I've also got all my social media down there as well as other fun bookish links, so don't forget to check all of that out, and I will see you guys in my next video.